Okay, guys, here we, here we go again. Here we go with another video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This video is from Nino Brown. Nino Brown, but this young fly, this young fly sacrificed his wife for TV. Let's get it. Go to Nino Brown. Shout out to him for this video, guys. Shout out to him for this video. Now, let's get it. I want to hear what he got to say. Let me tell you something. Girl. Everybody on the internet is going at DC Young Fly because he ain't grieving the way they want him to grieve. Everybody is going at DC Young Fly saying that this man sacrificed his wife and the mother of his kids' life, man. Got three beautiful children and everybody going at this man telling him, you you sacrifice your wife. You ain't love her. You put her down. His own podcast group put out a video of him bashing women who got surgery and talking about things about surgery on the day before or the day after the funeral. The video drop ain't even been a whole day. Let me tell you something. This man getting tested because everybody seemed to want him to grieve a certain way. But two things you can't do in life. One is tell somebody how to get mad. And two, tell somebody how to grieve. People don't grieve how you grieve. People don't get mad how you get mad. You might take disrespect in a way where somebody disrespect you and you might laugh it off like, man, you know what, he ain't meant that. And then you got people that will bust your pineapple by playing with them over $5, the newest things. That's facts. So far, I give him that. That's facts. That's facts. Everything is facts. But why are the people on the internet saying DC Young Fly sacrificed his wife, though? Why are they saying that? Is there any proof? Anybody got something on him? I want to see it. I want to hear it. You know, I need to check out those videos. I need, to, I, I need to check them out. Yeah. Maybe there's something in there. I, I don't know. I'm going to check them out. Let's get it. You got people that cry at funerals, boo-hoo crying, and you got some people, man, that rejoice because they know that that person ain't suffering no more. It's people take things in different manners, and what I ain't finna do, man, is let somebody just come on here and go at this man and try to crucify that man when he grieving on the inside, trying to maintain strength, man, trying to show that stoic ability to carry on the torch. They out there trying to put out a narrative that he done met a young woman and that's 20 years old and he went with the uh, Jackie old girl when she died and all that. Let me tell you something. Even if they did move on, man, they went with each other, that's still the mother of his kids, man. And they put out all these old videos showing him look like he mad. They weren't getting along in the relationship. All the things look toxic. When you have been with somebody for over five to ten years, man, it come a time where y'all got to keep recreating that feeling in the relationship. Facts, facts. Uh, this man real though. He real. What he's saying is just pure facts. But again, I need to check out them videos about DC Young Fly. That they say he sacrificed his wife. I gotta check them out. I gotta check them out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Y'all got to keep procreating love in a relationship because it get hard, man. That's why I salute to that man for being married to that woman for so long, man. I don't care what they went through. Yeah, he might have been tired of her. She might have been tired of him. But at the end of the day, man, they was with each other. They love each other. And for y'all to get on here and say that man sacrificed her to be on TV, man. Digging up tweets from April trying to say that this man sacrificed his wife because he said you got to show sacrifice and discipline and make it in this game to do something you ain't never had. That's the truth. You got to sacrifice going to the club, partying and bull crapping before you can make it in this game. You got to sacrifice discipline, man, where you want to do certain things you can't do yeah, to get the money that you ain't never had before. You got to sacrifice. He ain't lying about that. But I know that this man ain't sacrificed no Jackie O. He ain't had to sacrifice her. He was big before she died. He was on TV before she died. Okay, uh, I, I'll stop you right there, okay? Just because somebody's been on TV, I'm going to tell you like this, right? In Hollywood, you have to, there are levels, okay? There are levels. To get certain levels, you got to do certain things. You get somewhere, you got to do something. Okay, you can stay where you are. Okay, you can stay where you are. It's okay. You want to get bigger, you got to give up something. You want to get bigger, you got to give up something. You're going to get bigger, you got to give up something. Now, I'm not saying that's what DC on Fly did, but I'm saying, because he said he was on TV before, way before she died. Yes, he was on TV, but he was never that big of a deal. Okay? 
Well, here's a big deal. Though. Don't get me wrong. Here's a big deal. But again, there are levels. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, right? There are levels in these things. So, yes, he was on TV before, but still, he is not to the pinnacle, okay? He's not at the pinnacle of the industry. We know that people are the pinnacle of the, of the industry, and we know things they have done to get there. Kanye West said it himself, okay? Kanye West said it himself. So, yeah, there are levels, period, bro. He was consistently being aired on TV before she died. He had no reason. That man ain't in the movies and nothing like that. He was on the Wild and Out show. He was getting paid. He Again, there are levels, bro. There are levels. He was getting paid. He was on there, but yes. Yes, but, 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 but still, he need to hit a level. He need to hit a level. Like DC Young Flash, they go to auditions for movies, right? They get him to go audition for the movies. Now, the people that are the pinnacles, like Kevin Hart, do you think Kevin Hart will audition for a movie? No. They just get a script to him, and he can't even fix some part of the script. If he doesn't like it, he would will, he will like, I don't like this. Can you change can you change this? Can you change it to that? Can you change that to this? And they will do it, right? DC Young Flat does not have that. He's not there, bro. He's not there. And then to get there, you got to do something. We all know this, bro. He stuck with Nick Cannon on that Wild and Out show. They went on tour. The man was making millions of dollars, still making millions of dollars. And going to make more now. And God finna bless him and his family and cover them. So why y'all talk about what this man did just because he ain't grieving and crying and sobbing like y'all be doing with them fake ass tears and calling people and acting like y'all so mad that somebody died when the man, when the woman or whoever it was died. Y'all went checking up on them anyway when they was alive, man. Y'all could, could miss me with that boy. Shit, man. Cause I know that man. That man a real dude, man. The man ain't built like that. The man showed love and compassion. She looked like she was deeply in love with him, showing him every five seconds on the video. And he just tired from work. As a man should be. He tired because to do this content and to do wild and out, that's a mental toll on your body. That's a mental toll on your health. That's a toll on you, man. And sometimes you just want to get home, relax, and just chill. You don't want to be in front of a camera every five seconds. I'm him. I'm just like that, man. I talk a lot on camera. When I'm off camera, I be quiet. I be thinking. I'm observing. And most people who talk a lot on camera, most people that voice their opinion, most comedian, being a comedian is the hardest job in the world. It's the hardest thing to do to make somebody laugh because they got to have the same kind of experiences as you. But people out here talking about, he all smiled. He had the goddamn funeral making jokes. If I hug he, he wanted to have seven kids and she couldn't have no more kids and all that. Let me tell you something, man. What y'all want him to do? Be right here crying so y'all can talk about, oh, he sure was crying. And then on the inside, that ain't him. You. <laughs> He got a point, though. He got a point. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? It does not matter what you do. People are always going to find something to talk about. If you go left, they will say, why did he go left? He should have gone right. If he went right, they'll be like, yo, why did he go right again? He should have gone left. Yeah, something is up with it. People are always going to talk about something, okay? So you just got to be yourself. And then, uh, But again, if people talk a lot about one thing... I mean, there's something about it. Yeah, you know I mean, I gotta watch them videos again. I keep saying this. I gotta watch them videos about DC Young Fly sacrificing his wife. I gotta, get, I gotta watch them videos, and I gotta judge it for my own self. Yeah, you know I mean. You want him to fake for y'all? That ain't how it work. The man grieved the way he grieved, just like you grieve the way you grieve. Stop judging people. You not God. That between him and God, if he was faking anyway, that's on him and God. Stay out that man business. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all make sure y'all comment y'all thoughts below. Y'all make sure y'all share this video, baby. We the business. We the business. Um... Well, I said what I said. Yeah, I mean, I said what I said. It's true that he was making money before, and he's going to make more money now, but still, there are levels in this game. Yeah, I mean, there are levels in this game. And then I, I keep saying this, anybody that's in Hollywood and claiming to be worshiping God, which God are we talking about here? 
which God are we talking about? Are you talking about the God of Hollywood or are you talking about Jesus Christ? You got to be specific. And if you're actually worshiping the true God, you shouldn't be in Hollywood. You shouldn't be part of all these demonic movies that they've been making, man. You shouldn't be part of them movies. No, sir. You got to get out. Get out of Hollywood. Start, start doing gospel. Start start uh, uh, serving God. That's what I want to see. I Once I see things like that, then I believe these people that come out of Hollywood and start talking about God. Which God are they talking about? You know? Which God are they talking about? Comment below, man. Comment below. Go to uh, Nino Brown, Nino Brown uh, YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Go to him. Comment, like, subscribe to him. Let him know what you're thinking about his video. Yeah, you know I mean, I'll catch you guys next time with a new video. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm out. Yeah, yo, yeah, I mean, that's good. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say it again. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I mean.